but love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, because He is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. So it's a new week, guys. My boyfriend went back home and he landed safely. Praise be to God for that. So I'm just making some muffins. I started literally falling in love with like baking and I try to bake new things as much as I can. Here I'm just making but like muffins for my family and I. They were literally so good. Like, oh my goodness. And this is how they turned out. What do you want? Um, yeah, I want to be. Okay. Is that fine? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna make food. I think Let's I see. Wow. Oh. I'm gonna make food for my customers. <laughs> Who'll be my customers? I'll be your customer. Okay. For what we're about to see. install a wig love me hair sent me a wig and i just wanted to show you guys how it looks this is the the hair that they sent me it has blonde highlights and it's a glueless 5x5 five five closure as you can see when you look at the construction of it is amazing because it has this adjustable band where you can make your wig tighter or looser and there's like points whether to put it at if you want it has clips within it at the sides as you can see at the bottom and at the top here it's a 20 inch loose wave wig let's install it so i can show you guys how the curls look the curls loosened up because i had to wash it first and then so i'm gonna curl it like style it and all that and i'm gonna show you guys how the curls look So this is how it looks when if you haven't glued it or anything which I think is wow I haven't put I haven't put any product yet so it's still glueless so you see and if you want to make it tighter you can at the back that's why the adjustable band is so good because if you want to make it tighter and obviously don't want your lace to be lifting or showing or anything but yeah this is how it looks glueless i'm gonna put some product so i can like you know make the curls and everything then i will show you guys like the end results Okay, I'm gonna just give it a few minutes and then I will show you guys the curls.
and this is the how the hair looks how bouncy these curls are thank you so much to love me hair and i will link uh everything about the hair in my description box so if you are if you want to know more details everything will be in the description box so i'm going to go get my passport done because mine expired like two years ago so i have to go get it renewed so i'm just getting ready so today when i woke up right obviously you know i pray before i do anything so i was in prayer and i always do this thing where i ask the lord to like give me a verse for the day that i can meditate on or like a word so i can glorify him and give him praise for his goodness and today he gave me so obviously he's always faithful and he always gives me words which is like you know so beautiful but this time he gave me a verse that i wasn't familiar with but when i looked at it in my bible it was highlighted this time it was like for the body of christ and also for me because i've seen myself doing things that i normally don't do like i don't i'm not reading my bible as much like i'll read my bible once or twice in a day and i read it like way more than that in a day so these this week and last week i've been like seeing myself reading my bible here and there not as much as i have been and so the verse was mark 13 20 uh three so obviously i was like okay when i received it i was like okay so obviously i wasn't familiar with the verse and i didn't know what it said but it was like so i was like okay let me go turn to it and then it says mark 13 says so be on your god and then i saw the title for that um what it's under you know it said the destruction of the temple and immediately when i thought that I thought about the body of Christ, like us, like our temple, ourselves. And I was like, oh my goodness. So he was like, so be on God on all things. And also it was like the destruction of the temple and also like end times, the signs of the end times. And I immediately knew that God sent me to this verse because of um, how I've been this week, which God is so good, honestly speaking. He will always go before you to lead you, to show you the way and to he always guides you like it, he always guides you and i thank him for allowing me to see this verse because i have noticed that i was you know but to hear it from him himself that he see he sees me you know he sees me doing this and i was like oh god is so good so obviously i wrote it down in my notes and spoke about it i just wanted to tell you guys that you know just be on your guard and always always seek the lord prepare always prepare yourselves you know because um the enemy really destroys wants to destroy us the people that are in christ he doesn't care about other people but if you see yourself start to like fall into these things like you know these old habits like laziness and stuff like that you know just be aware that this isn't this isn't you and you know that you shouldn't be doing this so i thank god for allowing me to do give like receive this word and i just wanted to share it with you guys so if you guys are also maybe going through this so just be on your guard and remember that the lord is with you and he is there always ask him for guidance and he will guide you i promise you that he will guide you he will go before you and guide you and show you the path that he has for you and that's exactly it he would he showed me that you are now you're going into like a path that i don't want you to go so he was like warning me to get on the right path again don't get distracted because you know like we don't know the day or hour so we just always need to prepare ourselves as the temples you know and the body of christ and be always aware of all these things these little things that we start doing that are not benefiting us or making us grow in christ but i thank god for allowing me to receive this word because i'm a meditate on it so much and i thank him for giving me 
you know this word and it's like it was a warning to me because this isn't the first time he's given me something about you know being on guard and like preparing yourself but yeah let me get ready and finish i'll see you guys yeah when i get there because the electricity is gonna go out soon but already i'm not doing much with my hair this is the style i'm going with and then yeah i'm put i'm gonna put in my earrings and then we're gonna leave so i just got done doing my passport oh thank you it's a pleasure just so that you don't carry your really thank you all our yellow stickers those are special I'm supposed to have a picnic with my friend Wes and we're supposed to have like a picnic with Bible study and stuff like that but we went to two different places so I said botanical gardens but there's two so there's Johannesburg and the Walter Sis uh, Sisulu one and she went to the other one I went to this one so I had to wait for her to come and stuff like that but she's here now so thank you Lord thank the Lord we're just waiting for our food and I'm just waiting for her to enter. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. 